if this one goes to game five, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be shocked because endpoint or, or rather because Veloce have just looked so good recently. But um, stranger things have happened, <laughs> even today. Stranger things have happened. So who knows? Uh, we are ready to get this one underway. Who do you guys have uh, winning this one? Veloce endpoint. Veloce won three. Veloce, 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 Veloce for sure. I wouldn't be surprised if Veloce sweep this, personally. Um, Endpoint are a team fresh off, uh, or freshly promoted from RLRS. So maybe their connection to RLRS is going to make them do better today than, uh, RLRS, than RLCS teams. You know, so far not so good. That's mess ups by all three players and Veloce are going to have an easy series today if that keeps happening. I'm not sure if uh, Virtuoso meant to do a wave dash kickoff there. It looked like he missed his first flip and then had to do a wave dash kickoff as a reaction. Following that we saw Relaying Wave miss the ball and Nachitao hit a very, very poor clear. Let's see if they can warm up into the game and keep up with Veloce who have been one of the most solid and difficult teams to go up against recently. Already Veloce causing problems offensively. Veloce changed map next game, please. I, I, mean, I don't know. Was it Veloce who asked for the map to be changed? I can't remember if it was. One of the teams didn't like the, uh, Forbidden Temple, but I love it. Maybe I'll do, we'll try to do Forbidden Temple for the last series today. How about that? Oh, Virtuoso down low. That was a good opportunity for Endpoint. Here comes Flame though. Flip reset. Of course he had to use it. It's uh, one of the unwritten rules of Rocket League. If you get a flip reset on the ball, you must use it, no matter what you're doing. But this could be a quiet start to the game. Both these teams have got de quite defensive play styles from what I've seen in the past, especially Veloce. Um, their entire game plan revolves around avoiding mistakes and you know looking for mistakes of their opponents to try and exploit. Quick play by Flame. Hard hit to the back wall. Relating Wave misses. And that's an open net for Freaky. And if you're going to make mistakes like this, you're going to get punished against Veloce. Because Freaky's always waiting there just in case the ball comes down into the middle. And it did this time. And he was able to put it on target. 1 0 already for Veloce. We've seen only game fives today. Yesterday, we had three sweeps. I wouldn't be surprised if we see another one here. Because Veloce are just that good. That's no disrespect to Endpoint at all. Of course, with, uh, you know, Barca looking like they are struggling in this group as well. Maybe Endpoint can sneak through in second place. They don't want to look too far ahead, though. They're going to try get as many games off Veloce as they can. Uh, you know, I'll, I would call it a win today. If, if Endpoint can take a game off Veloce, I think that's good enough. That's already, you know, all that they should be hoping for. Flame makes it 2-0. And there was just nobody ready at the back here for Endpoint. Yeah, it looks like Nachitao just took too long to go for that back corner boost. And he didn't have enough momentum. He didn't have enough uh, small boost pad pathing in order to reach that ball in time. That's a nervous start for Endpoint. Does not look convincing at all. The Loche have been solid. Endpoint have been anything but. And with half the game gone. It just looks like the Loche are going to run away with this one. Flame missing from close range. Hard to ignore all the cars that were queuing up in front of him to attempt to hit that one. Freaky air dribbling in the middle. Denied by Relating Wave. I'm looking really at Flame to be that man for Veloce to pop off. Oh, that's a nice redirect. Relating Wave starting to wake up here. In game number one. Might have been their closest chance yet. Even that was a ball that Veloce had an answer to. Flame all the way down the left-hand side by himself. And the respawning endpoint player had no chance. Virtuoso just way too slow to that ball. He was caught off guard by Flame's recovery time. You have to see that coming in Flame. He's so quick. He's so efficient with his movement. I think it's harder to tell sometimes with players who are zoomed in with their camera settings like Flame is. Freaky. Gives him a little love tap on the way back. Nice uh, leave there of the mid boost by Flame. And it's everybody forward here for 
the Loche. Endpoint. Struggling to get anything going. Relating Wave. Tries a double touch off the floor. Flame with an interception. You just wonder where the goal's going to come from for Endpoint, if not from demos, because the Loche are maybe the best team in Europe right now at just getting in the way of their opponents and denying them opportunities after what NLE just did to Dignitas in their last game. Um, I would put Veloce in a league of their own in that regard. But who knows, we didn't see uh, Veloce play against NLE who have been dominating our LCS teams. Maybe they would struggle in the same way. Relating wave. So I'll just away from this one. It's still scoreless for endpoint in game number one. It's been all too easy for Veloce who are so often underestimated because they don't have flashy plays. They don't try to make flashy plays. They're just playing solid Rock League. We asked Freaky yesterday if that is their plan moving forward. He said absolutely. He thinks they have a good understanding of how to win in the current Rocket League metagame. And the results speak for themselves. They're on a great run in RLCS. They're looking fantastic in TEI as well. So until somebody comfortably beats Veloce, they're just going to keep doing their thing. They're just going to keep on countering and they're going to keep on denying opportunities. It's got a lot of similarities, a lot of um, you know connections to you know, counter punchers in boxing. Sometimes criticized for not going for the win, not going for the knockout. That's exactly how Veloce play Rocket League. They don't go for big knockouts, but hey, they've just had a 3-0 win. They've got they've got 11 shots to zero. Like you can't argue with the results. They've not even given um, Endpoint a chance to score, and they've given themselves numerous chances. Now, Endpoint are an RLCS team. I know most of you who are watching will know that. They um, qualified through the promotion playoffs the last season after a great RLRS season in Season 8. But, you know, based on the results that we've seen so far this tournament, it might be better for them to be an RLRS team because RLRS teams are doing so well. <laughs> RLCS teams have been struggling against them. But, you know, if there's one RLCS team that I think will do well against teams that they're supposed to be, it would be Veloce. They're just so solid. They don't give teams any opportunities to um, surprise them, to get goals against them. Well, let's see if they can do it again. I mean, that would be one of the most impressive stat lines. Not just keeping a clean sheet, but denying shots for an entire series. I don't think that's ever happened in a high-level competitive threes match. We have seen total shutouts in terms of goals. Maybe Veloce can go one better. Prevent the other team from even getting a shot. Oh wow, Flame. Like something out of a freestyling montage. Gets bumped into the air by Casio. And he wasn't far off putting that one on target. Here's your clip for everybody who uh, wants to see something crazy from Veloce. Like I was saying, Flame is he's the guy that I'm looking at to be that... Um, you know, be that player who's willing to pop off and carry a series single-handedly. If you look at all the teams who have won Rocket League Majors recently, they've got players who are willing to do that, and they've had players do that in their runs to win those tournaments. This might be a shot for Endpoint, and that's Rip to Veloce's perfect record. They've given uh, <laughs> they've given Velo uh, Endpoint a shot. They're going to be disgusted at themselves <laughs> for letting that happen. It's still scoreless in Game 2 for both teams. Best chance of the game was Funnily enough, the Flame aerial opportunity. Great save by Relating Wave. That's much better defense for Endpoint. Freaky brings it down. He's trying to get it past all three. Relating Wave again. That man to guide the ball clear. And another big chance to actually Natchitau this time. Who is coming down for it. And the demo and the goal for Flame. And another one by Virtuoso. He's just taking two players out of the frame by himself. He's going to keep going, actually. Look at this from Virtuoso off the ball. He's just uh, on a one-man mission to demo the entire lineup of Veloce. Fortunately for him, while he was doing that, there wasn't much going on. We're just going to stay on Virtuoso right now. He's just demoing people. I want to see how long he keeps trying this. He's been ahead of the ball for the majority of the play <laughs> for the past minute or so. Uh, I'm not going to complain about that. I'm uh, I'm all for the demo meta. I think it's great. I think it's uh, underappreciated. Oh, that's a great shot by Natchitau. He had 
Veloce surprised by that one. You know, after a really quiet game number one, right into endpoint there, looking for more demos, you're looking for more sneaky opportunities. Great pass by Flame, but it's not on target for Cassio Virtuoso. Coming straight down the middle, he's stopped by Freaky. And that's up into the middle for Relating Wave. Looking for the double touch. He's wide open, but he misses. It's hard to ignore the Veloce defender on the back wall there. I think uh, Relating Wave took his eye off the ball momentarily. See if he had a free hit. Got to just stare at the ball in those positions. It's the only way you're going to get solid contact. Even if uh, the defending team are Veloce, you just have to hope and assume that they're missing. The Link Wave going to do it this time, but it's a much harder connection. It's down the middle to Porto, so he puts it off the side. I'm not sure who uh, just invited me. Replays for Steam. Who is this? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll turn off my invites. Casio. Going to try and do some work for Veloce now. Got a minute and 25 remaining. Still no goals for either team. It's a much better game overall for Endpoint. They've had threatening opportunities. They've made things happen without uh, waiting for Veloce to completely mess something up themselves. Good pass by Virtuoso to Relating Wave. He can't get it past Freaky. And that's Ty on the back wall. He's going to look for Virtuoso on the left. So it's good defensive passing by Endpoint. They're giving themselves a good chance to get the ball clear by constantly looking for options. Virtuoso this game has been a wrecking ball and Relating Wave is getting involved as well. There's just so many demos for Endpoint. And that's something that you can do to throw off the rotation of a team who are relying almost entirely on perfect play start to finish in order to get a win. Freaky sends it into the middle. Virtuoso's inside the goal. Had to run away from a demo himself there. Missed by Virtuoso brings Natsutao into the play. Knock on towards the middle. It's too far for Relating Wave. Cassio slams it clear. We're inside the final 10 seconds of the game. Still no goals. Still no goals all series for Endpoint. But they've done a lot better in game two. Not just uh, defending Veloce's pressure, but also creating some of their own. This is a chance now in overtime. They've got a clean reset on the kickoff. Let's see what they've got planned. And Virtuoso pushes the ball to the right. There's actually nobody there. Not the best synergy on that one. But they will fall nicely for Natsutao. He gets it forward. Right into flame, though. Veloce usually win games that, uh, you know, become a ping pong match in the midfield. This is something that they rarely make mistakes in, Virtuoso. Some nice ground play, but the second challenge for Veloce is well timed. Relating Wave with a big shot, but it's saved on the goal line by Cassio. Endpoint are still asking questions of Veloce, testing them. Veloce are passing the test of flying colors for the most part. 50 seconds into OT already. We're seeing quite a lot of uh, pressure for Endpoint. Veloce are absorbing it all. Cassio with an early jump up into the air. Saved well by Relating Wave. Freaky's there for a double touch. He slowly hits it on target. Relating Wave again. The man for Endpoint to get the ball to safety. Virtuoso clears the next center ball. Veloce are starting to up the pace. They're trying to get a goal right here, right now. They're not letting Endpoint out of their half. And Endpoint don't really have a big clear lined up. They're sending everything straight into the last man for Veloce. Here's Cassie over the redirect, and that's going to be too hard to stop. It did feel like it was coming. Third man for Veloce was always ready to get involved and to slam the ball clear, but this one was aimed exceptionally well by Freaky. It's directly at Cassio. Not just that, into a place he can run onto. Great shot to win the game. They only give uh, three opportunities to endpoint this game. The one OJ. <laughs> they got a 3-0 last game. You can, listen guys, if you're trying to um, meme Freaky into becoming more aggressive, into playing a different play style, I can guarantee you it's not gonna work. He's too stubborn. 
He's, uh, you know, way too set in his ways. And like I said earlier, they've got the results to back it up. Why would they change their playstyle when it's working so well against all the competition, seemingly? They gave Barcelona one win yesterday, but since then, they've been on a five-game winning streak. That last game being the fifth. And it's almost 1-0 early on with Flames double touch on target. Freaky's follow-up shot will go past. And they didn't waste much time in this one before waking up and getting started. Flame just thread, or Freaky rather, just threading the needle there between two defenders. Only 27 seconds into the game, they're already ahead. If you look at the aggregate score between all games, it's 5-0. We might well see complete shutout for Veloce. It was a much better game too um, for Endpoint. But overall, they haven't had too much in the way of surprises for Veloce. Oh, Flame. And also Freaky up for that one. This is the best chance for Endpoint all series. But Cassio on the recovery. Just goes straight for the ball. That's a nice save by him. Had to wait and see which side he was going to spawn on before he could go for that. Well, that's going to be the first goal for Endpoint. Freaky in the middle, of, or Flame rather, in the middle of no man's land. Unable to do much. And that's well placed. Good speed by Natchita as he got up quickly for that one. Endpoint. Getting their first goal of the series. It's about 11 minutes into it. How are Veloce going to respond? That's a whiff for Freaky. It doesn't look like they're having the cleanest game themselves. Games one and two, we hardly saw one foot misplaced by Veloce. We've already seen quite a few miss hits from them in this third game. You know, in game one yesterday that they did lose, there were mistakes. And, you know, this is pretty much what Veloce will go back to the drawing board and think about. They're not going to look at the other team. They're just going to think about themselves and what they could do better. They're going to say, OK, well, we could we could have maybe hit that ball. We could have, uh, you know, been better positioned to deal with this uh, shot. That's their, that's their thinking. They're trying to remove all mistakes from their play style. And you can guarantee they're not going to be happy until they're conceding zero shots all game. Oh, that's a great read by Cassio. He's up before the bounce on the corner wall for this one. And he saves his dodge knowing that he can put a shot on target from here into an uncontested net after the shot goes over the last defender. Great strike to take the lead for Veloce once again. Cassio's got another opportunity and he's going for the double this time. And he puts it in. I think he got a bit of help from the defender. But still brilliant work by Cassio. Flames saw him on the far side. And it was Nachitao who just hit it into him here. I think Cassio was going to struggle to put that one on target without the defender's help. But of course, Nachitao doesn't know that. He's got to just go for that and try to get in the way. Great game so far for Cassio. Make sure that Veloce are in the driver's seat going into the second half. They're perfectly happy playing from in front, playing from a tie game position. Veloce just play the exact same style no matter what's happening. Constant, consistent pressure. And it's working wonderfully for them. 4-1. Freaky just sticks it into the bar, and then there's Flame with a follow-up. Endpoint never know whether the shot's going to be on target, whether it's going to be a pass into the crossbar. Hard to read when Veloce are positioning themselves in all kinds of offensive areas. They have players backed up to cover clear ball angles. They have players following up. Offensively, they obviously have somebody making a play on the ball at almost all times. That's why they're so difficult to play against. You've got to think about all three players and what they're doing at all times. It's the same as when you play against Dignitas. You can't let your guard down. You can't let one of the players out of your vision for even a moment because as soon as you do, he's making a play on the ball or off it and you're getting scored on. Late chance for end point, but Freaky's Composed as always in the back, and he's going to steer that one clear to danger. Flame gets the double underneath 
the incoming challenge. Virtual so takes him out of the game. He's been doing well with the demos for the latter half of this series, but have they left themselves with too much to do in this one? cassio has been brilliant. He's been efficient and he's been effective with his shooting. Both to win game two and then to give his team a huge lead going into game three. That's great placement though by Relating Wave again. End point. When they're given opportunities like this, are placing them excellently. Saw that the top right corner was defended by two players. Puts it bottom left. Two goals in it. There's still a chance for end point. And they need to hurry up here because the Loche are one of the most difficult teams in the world to create chances against. And they've only got 55 seconds now to get two of them and score them. No shots yet since the reset. Well, there's one, Relating Wave. Testing Freaky's goalkeeping at the back post. It's well saved though. But this one won't be Relating Wave. Puts his team back within one goal. You know, compared to the last game, this has been so many goals at either end of the field. That's a great touch by Relating Wave. He's got no boost left after the goal goes in. He came across the ball beautifully, caught it clean. And again, it's a placement for Relating Wave that gives him the goal, just like the second one this game. 30 seconds to go. Can end point. Take us into overtime again. Great defense by Natchitao. Goal side on the challenge. But once more, it's Veloce, who have all angles covered. They've got an answer to every single ball that comes their way. Where is the goal going to come from? For end point. Relating wave flicks it past one. That was towards Nach or towards Virtuoso. Nachito is in the air for this. Back wall's covered. Goal's covered. They've got men everywhere. Veloce ready for everything. And they do get the sweep. You know, like we expected. But they had to work for it at the end of the series. End point. Were able to do more and more as that series went on. They were finding ways through the Veloce defense, but they just left it too late. They were um, completely outclassed in game one and two. Uh, by the time they found a way to pressure Veloce, Veloce had already done sufficient damage, and they do lock up the series 3-0. Veloce is just so consistent. They, they just never really look lost for how to beat a team. I mean, if you look up consistency in the dictionary, you just see a picture of Freaky. Um, but I'm going to see if we can get uh, an interview again. Ah, so yesterday we had Freaky. Now we've got everybody. Um, wait, including Mystic as well. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to get the full Veloce squadron in for an interview. We'll talk to them about securing playoffs already. Um, let me just... Uh, turn off the background noise so you guys can hear them a bit more clearly. Mm -hmm. Hello, Veloce. Hello, hello. Okay, Cassio, could you say something so I can hear your volume? Uh, yeah, I'm okay, here, you're uh, good. Veloce player. Flame as well? Yeah. All right, perfect. <laughs> how, yeah, how are you guys doing uh, on this fine day? Doing well. Pretty good, yeah. Very well. Uh, Just, <laughs> Just a you know business as usual for for Veloce getting another win. Um, we talked to Freaky. We talked to you yesterday about the win against Barcelona. Uh, you said that that was pretty much what you expected from the series. Was uh, was this series against Endpoint what you expected as well? Uh, yes, I think uh, we already showed in RCS that we were better than them, and the first game in RCS was just I don't know. We we didn't play to our best, and now. Now we, we focused right from the start and got the free o. Yeah, we saw a couple of, um, you know, nice goals today. There was one in particular that didn't go in, but Flame, uh, yeah. you got bumped into the air. I think it was by Cassio. Oh, yeah. And then <laughs> yeah. you so annoyed put, that I missed that. Yeah, you couldn't put the rebound in. Um, yeah. But, you know, what's uh, do you feel uh, oppressed, you know, playing with Freaky? Because I know you like to style on people you like to pop off but freaky just doesn't what? let you do that and like well, yeah. what's it what? like yeah. nah, you should hear comms if flame yeah, uses his nice. air roll button freaky is pissed yeah. <laughs> freaky's like you need to be staying back because you know i can't be stuck on defense all the time <laughs> i can't handle it wow 
Free, free flame 2020. We need a hashtag here. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, Cassio, you had some great goals as well. There was uh, the overtime goal yep. game two and then just starting off game three really strong. After you got that good start in the last game, did you know that, okay, well, it's just this is it, just over. Um, let's just play it out. Or, you know, did you did you think the end point were going to come back at you like they did? Um, I think they did pretty well. Like, they been way more aggressive and they needed to at that time. Uh, I didn't expect them, like, to, like, they scored, like, uh, a really good, I remember, like, with the relating wave, like, kind of going really fast and making a pass in the midfield. Been a bit surprised. They've, like, uh, been coming back uh, uh, in the game really good. But, uh, yeah, in, I kind of knew, like, if we just, like, play our game and play a bit safe at the end, then we should, like, definitely get the win yeah yeah i mean it played out well enough you had a good enough start mystic you've qualified uh for the playoffs already but in order to confirm uh number one or actually no i, I think is it even possible i suppose it's possible for servet to catch you guys if they if they have some good wins but you do have to play servet um from rlrs what do you expect from them? Because the RLRS teams have been doing pretty well. They actually took Barcelona to Game 5. Are, are you taking them as seriously as you take the RLCS teams? Yeah, definitely. They'll probably be our hardest matchup, honestly. Because they're probably the least familiar team that we play against. And when we play against teams that are unfamiliar, it's a little bit more difficult for us. But, I mean, we're playing super consistent right now. If we don't actually make any mistakes, I don't think anyone's going to really be scary. And you're going to be against uh, one of the Group D uh, teams in the first round of playoffs, um, regardless of whether you get first or second. No, actually, is that correct? I think it is. Yeah, yeah, you are. So you're going to be against one of the Group D teams. Uh, who would you all choose? You know, Flame first. Mouse. If you had to pick one team, who would it be? Definitely Mouse. Mystic wants yeah, to mouse. play Mouse. 100%. Flame wants to play Mouse. Freaky. <laughs> yeah. Mouse. <laughs> Wow, uh -huh. Cassio is. I well. don't know. It it, it can right. be funny to play against Triple Trouble. Like, ah, really uh, Cassio. Uh, really? Bricks round day and Tadpole. Oh and, yeah, of course. Yeah, I don't know. It can, it can oh, be funny. Like I never played against Tadpole after what happened. The oh story, yeah, yeah, so yeah. It can be even like, like it can be funny. Yeah, that would be a very interesting matchup. Um, is there any team in in Group D that you you know don't want to play against in the playoffs round one, or you'd rather I mean, not have to? Like, results aside, I think it's always a pain to play against Reciprocity. Like, win or yeah. lose, like, that's just such yeah. a taxing series on the mind, you know. What is it about Reciprocity in particular that makes them hard to play against? They have two French players, and they <laughs> chase you around the field for 30 minutes. <laughs> They're fruity. Yeah. yeah. Two French They're players like, and fruity. That's correct, they do. They're as annoying <laughs> as a team can get, and it's just, it's so hard to play against. They're so good. Oh, and Jesse and I mean, Bruce they're, they're really there. solid in what they're doing. Yeah, hmm. uh, they're a really good team. Well, we're going to get to see them play next uh, on stream against Mouse. Mouse got swept yesterday by Triple Trouble. Um, they looked all over the place. They didn't know what they were doing. Uh, this will be Reciprocity's first series of TEI. Do you, do you guys have any predictions for that one and what you expect? 3-0 Reciprocity. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I think they... Most may play better that time, and maybe yeah. I think Erasmus will win as they already won three one in the league play. Uh, so I think like it's gonna be like three one as well for. Yeah, Aris I was gonna say three one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No fun. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, once again, guys, congratulations on qualifying. Um, you play against Servette in the last game of uh, Group C next Thursday so we're going to have to wait till next week to see you guys play but um, you have qualified for playoffs and we'll definitely be seeing more of you there regardless so once again congratulations and best of luck this weekend in RLCS as well thank you thank you, thank you very thank you. much bye Johnny bye bye Veloce doing what Veloce do and they've just taken care of Endpoint put them to the bottom of the table and although Endpoint do still have Servette and Barcelona to play, they've got a lot of work to do if they're going to get back up in the standings. Um, Barcelona did get the win over Servette. So, you know, if we see um, Endpoint lose to Servette in their first game next week on Tuesday, I think there's still a chance for them. If they could take two games in that series, they'd be two wins, six losses, uh, which would put them in, in striking range of Barcelona if uh, Servette 
drop to Veloce as well. You know, there's still an option, or there's still ways through for Endpoint. They're not out at all uh, just yet. But, you know, if there's one RLCS team that I think will do well against teams that they're supposed to beat, it would be Veloce. They're just so solid. They don't give teams any opportunities to um, surprise them, to get goals against them. Let's see if they can do it again. I mean, that would be one of the most impressive stat lines. Not just keeping a clean sheet, but denying shots for an entire series. I don't think that's ever happened in a high-level competitive threes match. We have seen total shutouts in terms of goals. But maybe Veloce can go one better. Prevent the other team from even getting a shot. Oh, wow. Flame. Like something out of a freestyling montage. Gets bumped into the air by Casio. And he wasn't far off putting that one on target. Here's your clip for everybody who uh, wants to see something crazy from Veloce. Like I was saying, Flame is he's the guy that I'm looking at to be that, um, you know, be that player who's willing to pop off and carry a series single-handedly. If you look at all the teams who have won Rocket League majors recently, they've got players who are willing to do that, and they've had players do that in their runs to win those tournaments. This might be a shot for. End point, and that's ripped to Veloce's perfect record. They've given, uh, <laughs> they've given Velo uh, end point a shot. They're going to be disgusted at themselves <laughs> for letting that happen. They're still scoreless in game two for both teams. Best chance of the game was, funnily enough, the flame aerial opportunity. Great save by Relating Wave. That's much better defense for end point. Freaky brings it down. He's trying to get it past all three. Relaying wave again. That man to guide the ball clear. And another big chance to actually Nachita this time. Who is coming down for it. And the demo in the goal for Flame. And another one by Virtuoso. He's just taking two players out of the frame by himself. He's going to keep going, actually. Look at this from Virtuoso off the ball. He's just uh, on a one man mission to demo the entire lineup of Veloce. Fortunately for him, while he was doing that. There wasn't much going on. We're just going to stay on Virtuoso right now. He's just demoing people. I want to see how long he keeps trying this. He's been ahead of the ball for the majority of the play <laughs> for the past minute or so. Uh, I'm not going to complain about that. I'm, uh, I'm all for the demo meta. I think it's great. I think it's uh, underappreciated. Oh, that's a great shot by Nachitao. He had Veloce surprised by that one. You know, after a really quiet game number one, Right into end point there. Looking for more demos. They're looking for more sneaky opportunities. Great pass by Flame, but it's not on target for Casio Virtuoso. Coming straight down the middle. He's stopped by Freaky. And that's up into the middle for Relating Wave. Looking for the double touch. He's wide open, but he misses. It's hard to ignore the Veloce defender on the back wall there. I think uh, Relating Wave took his eye off the ball momentarily. Let's see if he had a free hit. Got to just stare at the ball in those positions. It's the only way you're going to get solid contact. Even if uh, the defending team are Veloce, you just have to hope and assume that they're missing. The Lightning Wave going to do it this time, but it's a much harder connection. It's down the middle to Portugal, so he puts it off the side. I'm not sure who uh, just invited me. Replays for Steam. Who is this? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll turn off my invites. Casio. Gonna try and do some work for Veloce now. Got a minute and 25 remaining. Still no goals for either team. It's a much better game overall for Endpoint. They've had threatening opportunities. They've made things happen without uh, waiting for Veloce to completely mess something up themselves. Good pass by Virtuoso to Relating Wave. He can't get it past Freaky. And that's tie on the back wall. He's going to look for Virtuoso on the left. So it's good defensive passing by Endpoint. They're giving themselves a good chance to get the ball clear by constantly looking for options. Virtuoso this game has been a wrecking ball. And Relating Wave is getting involved as well. There's just so many demos for Endpoint. But that's something that you can do to throw off the rotation of a team who are relying almost entirely on perfect play start to finish in order to get a win. Freaky sends it into the middle. Virtuoso's inside the goal. Had to run away from a demo himself there. Missed by Virtuoso. Brings Nachitao into the play. 
knock on towards the middle. It's too far for a relating wave. Casio slams it clear. We're inside the final 10 seconds of the game. Still no goals. Still no goals all series for Endpoint. But they've done a lot better in game two. Not just uh, defending Veloce's pressure, but also creating some of their own. And this is a chance now in overtime. They've got a clean reset on the kickoff. Let's see what they've got planned. And Virtuoso pushes the ball to the right. There's actually nobody there. Not the best synergy on that one. But it will fall nicely for Nachtau. He gets it forward. Right into flame, though. Veloce usually win games that... Uh, you know, become a ping pong match in the midfield. This is something that they rarely make mistakes in, Virtuoso. Some nice ground play, but the second challenge for Veloce is well timed. Relating wave with a big shot, but it's saved on the goal line by Cassio. Endpoint are still asking questions of Veloce, testing them. Veloce are passing the test of flying colors for the most part. 50 seconds into OT already. We're seeing quite a lot of uh, pressure for Endpoint. Veloce are absorbing it all. Cassio with an early jump up into the air. Saved well by Relating Wave. Freaky's there for a double touch. He slowly hits it on target. Relating Wave again. The man for Endpoint to get the ball to safety. Virtuoso clears the next center ball. Veloce are starting to up the pace. They're trying to get a goal right here, right now. They're not letting Endpoint out of their half. And Endpoint don't really have a big clear lined up. They're sending everything straight into the last man for Veloce. Here's Cassio with the redirect, and that's going to be too hard to stop. It did feel like it was coming. Third man for Veloce was always ready to get involved and to slam the ball clear, but this one was aimed exceptionally well by Freaky. It's directly at Cassio. Not just that, into a place he can run onto. Great shot to win the game. They only give uh, three opportunities to endpoint this game. The one OJ. <laughs> they got a 3-0 last game. You can, listen guys, if you're trying to um, meme Freaky into becoming more aggressive, into playing a different playstyle, I can guarantee you it's not going to work. He's too stubborn. He's, uh, you know, way too set in his ways. And like I said earlier, they've got the results to back it up. Why would they change their playstyle when it's working so well against all the competitions seemingly? They gave Barcelona one win yesterday, but since then, they've been on a five-game winning streak. That last game being the fifth. And it's almost 1-0 early on with Flames double touch on target. Freaky's follow-up shot will go past. And they didn't waste much time in this one before waking up and getting started. Flame just thread, or Freaky rather, just threading the needle there between two defenders. Only 27 seconds into the game, they're already ahead. If you look at the aggregate score between all games, it's 5-0. We might well see complete shutouts for Veloce. It was a much better game too um, for Endpoint. But overall, they haven't had too much in the way of surprises for Veloce. Oh, Flame. And also Freaky up for that one. This is the best chance for Endpoint all series. But Cassio on the recovery. Just goes straight for the ball. That's a nice save by him. Had to wait and see which side he was going to spawn on before he could go for that. Now well, that's going to be the first goal for Endpoint. Freaky in the middle, of, or Flame rather, in the middle of no man's land. Unable to do much. And that's well placed. Good speed by Natchitau as he got up quickly for that one. Endpoint. Getting their first goal of the series. It's about 11 minutes into it. How are Veloce going to respond? That's a whiff for Freaky. It doesn't look like they're having the cleanest game themselves. Games 1 and 2, we hardly saw one foot misplaced by Veloce. We've already seen quite a few miss hits from them in this third game. You know, in game 1 yesterday that they did lose, there were mistakes and you know this is pretty much what Veloce will go back to the drawing board and think about. They're not going to look at the other team, they're just going to think about themselves and what they could do better. They're going to say, okay, well we could have we maybe hit that ball, we could have uh, 
you know, been better positioned to deal with this uh, shot. That's their, that's their thinking. They're trying to remove all mistakes from their play style. And you can guarantee they're not going to be happy until they're conceding zero shots all game. Oh, that's a great read by Cassio. He's up before the bounce on the corner wall for this one. And he saves his dodge knowing that he can put a shot on target from here into an uncontested net after the shot goes over the last defender. Great strike to take the lead for Veloce once again. Cassio's got another opportunity and he's going for the double this time. And he puts it in. I think he got a bit of help from the defender. But still brilliant work by Cassio. Flames saw him on the far side. And it was Nachitao who just hit it into him here. I think Cassio was going to struggle to put that one on target without the defender's help. But of course, Nachitao doesn't know that. He's got to just go for that and try to get in the way. Great game so far for Cassio. Make sure that Veloce are in the driver's seat going into the second half. They're perfectly happy playing from in front playing from a tie game position. Veloce just play the exact same style no matter what's happening. Constant, consistent pressure. And it's working wonderfully for them. 4-1. Freaky just sticks it into the bar. And then there's Flame with a follow-up. Endpoint never know whether the shot's going to be on target, whether it's going to be a pass into the crossbar. Hard to read when Veloce are positioning themselves in all kinds of offensive areas. They have players backed up to cover clear ball angles. They have players following up offensively. They obviously have somebody making a play on the ball at almost all times. That's why they're so difficult to play against. You've got to think about all three players and what they're doing at all times. It's the same as when you play against Dignitas. You can't let your guard down. You can't let one of the players out of your vision for even a moment because as soon as you do, he's making a play on the ball or off it and you're getting scored on. Late chance for end point but Freaky's composed as always in the back and he's going to steer that one clear to danger. Flame gets the double underneath the incoming challenge. Virtuoso takes him out of the game. He's been Doing well with the demos for the latter half of this series, but have they left themselves with too much to do in this one? Cassio's been brilliant. He's been efficient and he's been effective with his shooting. Both to win game two and then to give his team a huge lead going into game three. That's great placement though by Relating Wave again. Endpoint, when they're given opportunities like this, are placing them excellently. Saw that the top right corner was defended by two players. Puts it bottom left. Two goals in it. There's still a chance for end point. And they need to hurry up here because Veloce are one of the most difficult teams in the world to create chances against. And they've only got 55 seconds now to get two of them and score them. No shots yet since the reset. But there's one. Relating wave. Testing Freaky's goalkeeping at the back post. It's well saved though. This one won't be relating wave. Puts his team back within one goal. You know, compared to the last game, this has been so many goals at either end of the field. That's a great touch by relating wave. He's got no boost left after the goal goes in. He came across the ball beautifully, caught it clean. And again, it's the placement for relating wave that gives him the goal. Just like the second one this game. 30 seconds to go. Can end point. Take us into overtime again. Great defense by Nachitao. Goal side on the challenge. But once more, it's Veloce who have all angles covered. They've got an answer to every single ball that comes their way. Where is the goal going to come from? For end point. Relating wave flicks it past one. That was towards, Nach or towards Virtuoso. Nachitao is in the air for this. Back wall's covered. Goal's covered. They've got men everywhere. Veloce ready for everything. And they do get the sweep. You know, like we expected. But they had to work for it at the end of the series. Endpoint were able to do more and more as that series went on. They were finding ways through the Veloce defense. 
but they just left it too late. They were um, completely outclassed in game one and two. Uh, by the time they found a way to pressure Veloce, Veloce had already done sufficient damage, and they do lock up the series 3-0.